Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Alex and Roger here, uh -huh. and uh, we're bringing you this week's fishing report. So, Roger, I know we have uh, a lot of things going on right now. We we're like a transition point. Uh huh. So, I know you've been out there a good I've amount. Had yeah, a little bit. So, what's going on? So, um, the trolling scene for the big trophies is kind of starting to slow down, from what we've heard. Still some around for sure, um, but just not catching a ton of them. A lot mm -hmm. of shorts being caught right now. Right. Um, so yeah, kind of. If, if you are going to troll right now, um, smaller things are probably going to be yeah. your best bet, just because the big ones are not really around anymore, and big fish will definitely still eat smaller baits. Oh yeah, and remember, guys, we also go back to our summer, uh, pretty much size limit. Yeah, on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday yep. comes up back down to nineteen mm -hmm. inches. So yeah. That's the way to go. Fish to Smaller eat. stuff, get some inline weights, get them down to whatever uh, depth you need them to yep. go to. But definitely downsize a profile. Uh, remember, when it opens up again on the 16, it doesn't mean that you can go into Eastern Bay and right, catch right, it. Right, you right. know, like you have to catch and release in certain areas. Yep. I think most of the tributaries open up for catch and release, but you're not allowed to keep them there until yep. June 1st. Yep. So keep that in mind when you're going out there. Know where you are. Yes. Uh, yes. Because those lines are pretty, you know, pretty pretty set. But remember, DNR is going to be sitting there probably right. watching. So yep. keep that in mind. I know jigging's been pretty uh, productive in certain areas. Uh, most of it has been in Eastern Bay, around yeah. Poplar Island, uh, pretty much the hill, a little bit deeper water. Heard of some good fish down in the Tangier Sound. Uh, by good meaning like upper 20s 30s gotcha. uh western side down by chesapeake beach a couple of schools of fish kind yeah. of popping around there's some bigger ones down there mm -hmm. too i was out tuesday or wednesday this week um and again most shorts caught right. but we were down kind of <clears throat> towards deal chesapeake beach and there were definitely you know over the radio we heard some big ones caught right so and they're the definitely still here and then you know you can do catch and release in the tributaries so yeah go into eastern bay and do that and if you're trying to keep fish uh safety net uh you know as always the bay bridge pilings yep no one has really been fishing them too much no, yeah 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 so, so we were talking about we actually just got a call mm -hmm. um, a couple hours ago that someone right now is catching spot at mattapeak so mm -hmm. if spot are up here right now i would definitely go if i caught a spot i would go take it to those bay bridge pilings and start live lining them and to catch the spot I would use those <laughs> yep. on sabikis. If you don't want to use uh, your live bait, uh, and this is a must-have in your tackle box. We always mention this. Yeah. Uh, that on the sabiki rig. Top uh, and bottom rig. Top either. and bottom rig, pretty much. Throw it down there. If there is spot moving up this early, then those rockfish are going to be yeah, obviously be behind them. Yeah. And one of those things is, like, if you do get in, in an area where there's, you know, spot typically during the summer, Try those out. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'd be just sitting there. Yeah. Same mm -hmm. thing. I mean, um, with soft crab too. Like, this is, like we've been saying, it's kind of a transitional period where it, go soft crab at the Bay Bridge pilings right now. Yeah. It, it's going to turn on here any day yep. where it's just someone's got to go out there and be there at the right time and then everyone will know. <laughs> and then, you know, with the light tackle stuff, like you just mentioned, uh, and going back to transition. Uh, throwing paddle tails like these will yeah. work in the shallows and jigging, but forgot to bring it up, pink. And the reason why is because May worms. We're starting to get to that time, yeah. Yeah, so May worms will, uh, I think, usually come on that last full moon or new moon, whatever it is coming up. I think it's actually probably already happened or it's going to happen. We're in that transition point, yeah. so keep an eye on those. If, pink. you know, those fish are there, you're marking them, they're not biting. Uh, sometimes even blood worms. Yeah. Just throw yeah, down throw some blood, blood worms. Worm down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or yeah, if you're jigging everything, throw something pink on and try that. Right. Um, um yeah, real quick, the other thing, uh chunking, mm -hmm. chumming, whatever you want to call it, has also been really good. Yep. Um I did that a little bit on Tuesday or mm -hmm. Wednesday, whatever it was. And yeah, we had a bunch of hits, um, caught a short rockfish. Um and what's cool is we call it catfish while we're out there right, too. Right. So it, it, it's it's entertaining. It's something to do. You can go mm -hmm. out there and you're at least going to go catch fish. Um, we were off the dickery, like 30 feet of water, um, and that there mm -hmm. we were marking fish the whole time. Uh, it was constant action. So right. um, don't forget the chum bag. Yeah, chum bag. Don't <laughs> forget. I had two out. I had one on top, and then I brought a rock with me, and I sunk one down about 15 feet. Um, just. I don't know because right. I'm extra like that. Well, again, it helps. Every yeah, little helps. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't hurt anything to try it out. 25 anything, pound fluorocarbon liters. Mm -hmm. um, 
Snell your hooks if you can. We learned that the hard way. Lost a big, big, big fish that we feel like had the hook been snelled, we probably would have had a much better shot at hooking nice, that fish. Nice. Um, and then six to eight eye circle hooks. People think they're really big. Rockfish have huge mouths. They yeah. have no problem getting an eight eye hook. And especially with circle hooks, because of that point, yeah, you want a that, wider gap. Yeah, so. big gap too, mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, other than that, uh, fishing shallow water, uh, throw some jerk baits uh, once again. Uh, fishing inside the rivers right now, you're kind of catching all kinds of stuff all over the place, especially in the local rivers like the Severn, Magathy, and the Patapsco. There's still some, you know, uh, pickerel yeah, kind of moving definitely. around there. And people perch kind of forget too. about them. Yeah, know? yeah. We perch, we were saying too, mm -hmm. in this transitional period, they're going to be in the creeks any day, any week now. Yep. It's going to be sometime soon. So it definitely doesn't hurt to throw spinners yeah. or whatever in creeks right now. I would definitely give that a shot. And touching on that, remember <laughs> guys, it's a transition point. We keep mentioning this. Uh, those fish just kind of spread out out of nowhere. Yeah. They come yeah. down from their spawning areas. And it's not saying that those are done. We were talking to one of our uh, watermen here that provides some bait to us. And he was saying that he was netting perch they still had pretty much row in them. And some yeah. of them were still, you know, milking. So crazy. it's one of those things where that was apparently somewhere around the Magathy. Mm. And that means that some of those fish are still sparring. Still, yeah. So it's just how the weather is. Uh, keep that in mind, try different areas. Yeah. They might not be in that one spot you're fishing, but if you move around, move you'll, around you'll, find yeah, you'll find them. You'll find them for mm -hmm. sure, for sure. Other than that, snakehead fishing has been kind of on and off whether yeah. uh, some of those fish will be spawning by now uh, and some of them can be still in pre-spawn once again just like perch this weather has kind of thrown everything off yeah uh but it's so productive to get out there especially if you're fishing on the western shore nowadays uh fishing the severn south river yeah. and all those areas it's you always have a shot at at least catching a snake they might be a little bit more difficult right now but they're the numbers keep going up yeah so. for sure you know, we you just, will you find a few more and more. Caught them here, caught mm -hmm. them back in this creek. It's yeah, right every day. You so just search around. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Just search around because those things are everywhere now. Uh, I actually even saw a post from someone online uh, netting a snakehead at the Bay Bridge pilings. Okay, no wow. Like the rock piles, I should say. Right, so right. Those fish kind of just, I guess, swim everywhere. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I mean, uh, crabbing itself. Uh, I've been yeah, hearing crabbing. a little bit about it. Yeah. Um, Kind of same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's early for crabs right now, but um, I heard, you know, I talked to a buddy the other day, caught a bushel um, running 30 mm -hmm. pole pots in mm -hmm. six runs. He had a bushel. Nice. Now, uh, his buddy went to that same spot the next day and ran a trot line and caught, I think, like six crabs. Jesus. So it's hit or miss right now. Right. Um, but it's definitely worth a shot. Mm -hmm. If you got time on your hands, definitely worth going out right now. And then if you want to, you can also travel south. Like a lot of guys yeah, that yeah. I always tell, you know, if you're going snake it fishing and it's not that great. Take some traps or something yeah. down there. You start you know, said, like southern Dorchester County. I actually, I had heard as well, um, people chumming for, mm -hmm. I mean, catfish, rockfish, or in the Padickery area, um, shallow, like 15 to 20 mm -hmm. feet of water. Crabs on all of their chunks of right. LY. So going a little Rods deeper. Go, yeah, yeah. So maybe try, yeah, try running a little bit deeper right. this time of year for sure. Yeah, so I mean, that's all we got right now. Uh, besides that, I think everybody's been pulling good stuff out of like Sandy Point, yeah. local parks around here, just chunking from the shoreline, big catfish, some big short, catfish you know, maybe even keeper size uh, rockfish mm -hmm. once uh, sun it comes around. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it's been pretty productive. Yeah, I mean, for sure. it's not been like dead. It's been not really dead, yeah. productive right now. Again, like we keep saying for the hundredth time, it's a transitional period yeah. right now. So. You won't know if you're not out there. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Get out there, try it out. Uh, there's fishing right now. That you know, the big problem I always have myself personally. It's the spring, and there's too many options. Yes, yes. You can do a lot of you different can do a things whole right lot now. Of things. Right. Yeah. So get out there and try it out, guys. Uh, as always, send us your pictures, reports, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, send us a message, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks.